What's going on, everybody? Welcome back from our Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! Last time, we came close to reaching the telly station. This time, we're gonna be going there. Alright, now, before I do that, however... Whatever, man. Alright. <clears throat> I do believe we're gonna be playing cards. Alright, so I do have a bit of a better hand at my disposal. I'm going to bomb. T-Rex, sir. I gotta see, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? <coughs> Fuel. Oh, God, this song is excellent. I guess I'll crack. Okay. So playing a little bit of defense, are we? Alright. I'll go ahead and take the capture. Ooh. Too bad. So sad. Bum? Oh, okay. I think I better play defense here. At least I tied up the game. Open the walls and spread throughout this region. Okay, I do want to play one more card game with him. I kind of hoping I can actually start winning some cards here. Dexter. There's a red card, but I kind of want to use it. <clears throat> oh, he's got one too. He's got one too. I want to start by playing a little bit of defense. Oh, I see where you're going. I see what you're doing. I see what you are doing. Don't worry, there's more where that came from. Why did I use two fuel cards? Yeti! Why did I use two fuels? Oh, whatever. Oh, <laughs> uh, was... uh, my tear rocks are true. true. <laughs> oh, well. Curse Thorn, there was something here of note. Ah, here it is! The only draw point for a scan. I knew it wasn't going nuts. Alright, that out of the way. We're gonna finally arrive at the telly station at long last. That's a pretty impressive size screen. Whoa, an outdoor TV! This is creepy. What is it? The noise is broadcast over most of the frequencies. Something has to be done about this before they can broadcast it over the air. Oh, really? I was actually wondering myself. The 
president is in the studio now, sir. Too many guards now, so we won't be able to storm in place, sir. So we can't just rush in. Gotta come up with a new plan now. If the president leaves, if the guards will be gone too. That's when we'll do our broadcast. Not be as influential, but it's better than nothing, right? No sin of chance we take him head on, right? Don't worry about us. We'll fight your enemies based on your decision. That's our duty. You tell us to go, we go. Even if it's a losing battle. How sad. Act on my decision. That's your duty. Oh, what an easy life it must be. Just follow orders. <clears throat> Call it what you want. I want for you to keep your goal using our help. And hard to believe that you can do it. Oh, ouch. Well, what did you say? Got something to say. Just say it. Forget it. You started it. The least we can do is finish it. Come on, what's in your mind? Just forget it. Tell me. As an order. An order from your client. <clears throat> How serious are you? Really? Three of you plop down on the floor and discuss strategy. On top of that, you can't make a decision without our input, right? How do you think B feel working for a central organization? You're being too hard, man. I'll just leave it at that. <clears throat> you know. Maybe this was all a big mistake. I thought everything would work out fine once he'd come to help us. I guess it's not that easy. You're all hired. It's not like you're one of us. Um, let's see. We'll cancel the plan and we'll this person for now. I also had a chance to take him head on, right? <clears throat> so, you guys probably think this all a okay to us. Well, it's not. We're serious. So serious, it hurts. Hey? Are they starting? Testing. One, two. Testing. Testing. Oh! People of the world, can you see me? Can you hear me? Oh, this is incredible! Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a recording. This is an actual broadcast over the air! It's been 17 years since a live broadcast has been possible. Oh, please excuse me. I seem to have lost my composure. We would like to present to you today a message from lifelong President Calpidia, Benzer Dealing! Ladies and gentlemen, President Dealing! I read about you in Anarchist Monthly. You're a horrible dictator. <laughs> Greetings! I'm Benzer Dealing, lifelong President of Calpidia! Today, I stand before you to make the following proposition. We, the people of this world, have the power to end all the wars. See, see, it's a peaceful world of the world. I knew it. Unfortunately, there are some drifting problems standing between Galpini and other nations. They must be resolved. Uh oh, what was that? I plan to convene with other nations leaders immediately to resolve these problems. At this time, I'll be to introduce the ambassador 
will be my representative for the conference. And all this just to announce an ambassador. The ambassador is a sorceress. Sorceress? Cypher, what are you doing here? What's he doing? This torture tripey. Step back. Squall, what are we gonna do? Last time, stay back. You're only gonna provoke him. Nothing. Our job is to, sit, to assess the owls. It's none of our business. Timber team, are you watching? Get over here, right now. You have permission. I need your help. Squall? Squad leader! I can anticipate a fight coming up! So, what we're gonna need, what I'm gonna wanna do is chunk him from Renoa back to Selfie. Better rush over to the telly station immediately and see what's going on. We need to restrain him. What do you think you're doing? It's obvious, ain't it? What were you planning on doing with this guy? Planning to do? That's right. He knows Renoa, and that's why he's here. I get it. Here, Renoa's. Shut your damn mouth, chicken wuss. He broke out of the disciplinary room, injuring many in the process. <clears throat> you stupid idiot! Zell, please. Be quiet. Instructor, I know. I'm gonna take this stupid ad back to that. Shut up, no! I see. So you're all from Garden. Should anything happen to me, the entire Galadian military will undoubtedly crush Garden. Let go of me now. Nice going, chicken wuss. You and your stupid big mouth. Take care of this mess, instructor and Mr. Leader. Cypher, 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 you really know, you really love to cause trouble, don't you? Better go after him. Huh? Poor, poor boy. STAY AWAY FROM ME! Such a confused little boy. Are you going to step forward? Retreat? You have to decide. STAY BACK! The boy in you is telling you to come. The adult in you is telling you to back off. You can't make up your mind. You don't know the right answer. <laughs> you want help, don't you? You want to be safe from this predicament. Shut up! <laughs> don't be ashamed to ask for help. Besides, you're only a little boy. I'm not! Stop calling me a boy! You don't want to be a boy anymore? I am not a boy! Come with me to a place of no return. Bid farewell to your childhood.
<laughs> that was a thing that just happened. Yes, it was. Hey, guys. Where's Cypher? <clears throat> well, you see, we don't know. He'll be okay, right? Poor Renoa, if only you knew. They found our base. It's completely destroyed. And everyone else? They're fine. They're good at escaping. <clears throat> well, that's good here at least. I'm kind of not surprised they found the base though. We have to stay away from Timber for a while. Is there any safe place you can take me? There's an order. An order from a client, remember? Alright. I just do with a chicken. Everybody do the chicken! Okay, 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 okay. That was unnecessarily mean. But, whatever. Renoa, I heard about your base. I heard your base is in serious trouble. Come to my place until things settle down. I appreciate it, thank you. What are you waiting for, Squall? Come on. Well, looks like we got a place of lodging for the time being. Alright, I think I got more than enough, uh, standard cures to, uh, justify, um, refining those. <clears throat> yes, definitely. The time berry will be a uh, chef's knife once a uh, chef's knife once uh, we refine it. I'm not gonna say why now, but <clears throat> what that will refine into, we're gonna want a hundred of those. This way, it'll be vital for something coming up late game. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, I'll let you know if anything changes. Tell them make yourself at home. Thanks, Chief. Chief? He's the leader of the Forest Foxes. Most everyone is a resistance member in this town. <coughs> but right now, we're the only ones that are really active. Stay here for a while. I guess that makes sense. Sort of. I still don't get it. What did Cypher come here for? I think he came to help us the forest owls. I talked about it a lot with him. So please don't think too badly of him. <coughs> Anybody in here? What is this? I have two small children in here. Don't do anything to frighten them. Upstairs, hurry. Well, she'll be okay. He 
he'll be fine. Legend goes. And my mother took down many soldiers for their strength, cooking, and beauty. Cooking and beauty! That beauty part sure makes this sound, sound like a legend. <laughs> strength, cooking, and beauty. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> I was so angry when he found out it was only the three of you dispatching Timber. What? They might end up fighting the whole Kelpidian force? And all of this match are three rookie seed members? Damn it, I'm going to Timber! I never would have guessed he was serious about it. Guy's always serious, you should know about it not by now. Honestly, dude. And again, it is Cypher we're talking about. So tired. Thank you, so I hope he's always tired. Da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> Wonder if he's alright. What's gonna happen to Cypher? May already be dead. He's gonna be so casual, I feel sorry for him. Well, sorry. Cypher would hate to hear that. What's so funny? You're terrible. So, why do you think Cypher may already be dead? Because. President Galpidia and the sorceress joined forces. Cypher attacked the president. It's no surprise that Cypher may have been killed because of it. Even so, I still hope he's alive. Well, he did attempt the assassination. So it wouldn't be surprising. But then again, we all witnessed him <coughs> vanish with whoever that was. Think what you want. Reality isn't so kind. Everything doesn't work out the way you want it to. That's why. As long as you don't get your hopes up, you can take on anything. You feel less pain. Anyway, whatever you wish to have is none of my business. You're mean! Meanie! <clears throat> What's with her? She doesn't like how robotic you are, Squall. Sorry. Kill the Indian force are withdrawing. Only the soldiers normally stationed here will stick around. If you're gonna leave, now's your chance. You know how persistent those soldiers can be? <clears throat> well, we're gonna get moving! Alright, alright, we're on it. Seems like everyone's tired. I wanna go home. Da, 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 da. She won't say a word to us. And neither will Zell. Alright, let's talk to you. So what's your plan? Mm. <clears throat> talk to her again? Nothing. Squall, any thoughts on where to go? I get out of here first. I think out of here is only the first step. What do you mean? Guardian Code, Article 8, Line 7. Article 8, Line 7. In the event of returning to the assigned garden is not possible, return bar to the nearest garden. Head to the nearest garden. Alright, good! From here, that would be called Bidia Garden. Take the train from here and get off of this station called East Academy. From there, we gotta go through the west of the station and get to Galbadia Garden. I've been there several times. You should be okay. Okay then. Let's escape from Timber and head to Galbadia Garden. The party will be.
we haven't seen Questus enough. So, the Junction Exchange was pretty pointless, I gotta say. Once we get more GFs, the Junction Exchange may not be all that necessary. Necessary! Oh god, what was that? Take this with you. A potion of Phoenix Town. Soft. Antidote. Remedy. You are generous people. Yes, go through the first. Okay. Thank you. And of course, there's a good one right there. Renoa, Squall, it's me. Zone? You go to Music Academy, right? There's no more tickets left. Super duper mega bummer, dude. Whatever it takes to get on that train. You won't have to do that. Look here, I got everyone's ticket right here. One for you. Here, three for you see people. Here, I'll give them to the leader. Last one is for me. Go on, take it. I take it, it's yours. Oh. Oh. My stomach hurts. I was just get going, the train's leaving. Thank you. We're gonna see each other again, okay? No matter what, you have to survive. You have to liberate Timber together, remember? I know, I know. I'll go in the bathroom or something. I'll get going. His stomach is always hurting. But we're gonna save this for the next episode. Okay. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII, we're heading to Galbidia Garden through the forest. See you guys then.